Check. Hey, everybody, can you hear me? Yes. Just want to say a quick note. It's going to take about half an hour or so. So if you got something like you want to plan to go to after, it might take less. Just a heads up um, if you're kind of have a busy schedule. Um, so it's a presentation probably take about 30 minutes. So just heads up. Good to go. Cool. Well, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us, everybody. Um, my name's Ron Johnson. This is Tim. Um, I work with um, a company called Contegix. I'll get in that, uh, into that in a moment. Um, but we're going to do a presentation on um, a joint client of ours called the Truth Initiative. And um, they are, their mission is to build a culture where all youth and young adults uh, essentially reject tobacco. So they run a lot of advertising on TV and just anti or stop smoking campaigns and everything related. Uh, a little about me and the company I work for. My name is Ron. Um, I came from a, com a company called Black Mesh. Um, we were acquired by Contegix about eight to ten months ago. Um, Contegix um, is a leading cloud application service provider, um, meaning that we are obviously a hosting company, a cloud provider, but we're application aware. So we provide the application support as well as the hosting support. Um, Contegix itself has uh, over 20 years of application management experience from Drupal to WordPress to Magento to Atlassian to Windows stuff to you name it. Um, Got about 10 data centers in the US, Canada, and Europe. Um, some of them we own, some of them we lease space. Um, we have been a, a Drupal Association partner since 07. Um, we are very security focused. We have a FedRAMP compliant um, platform, um, so we are able to host uh, you know, .gov sites and um, government applications, and U.S. government applications and whatnot that require that FedRAMP compliance. Um, we also have PCI as well as HIPAA compliance, so hosting solutions for folks that are processing payments, credit cards, and then HIPAA for, you know, medical records, patient data, hospitals, stuff like that. So um, very security-focused company. Um, let's see. Oh, a little bit about me. Um, I'm in the picture there. I'm also right here. My name is Ron Johnson. I'm a tech sales guy, sysadmin at heart. Um, I've been working with Contegix since 2011. Um, I've been in the hosting and managed services space um, in various capacities for about 14, 15 years at this point. I'm going to turn it over to Tim real quick. Hey, everybody. Like Ron said, I'm Tim. Tim Arnold. I'm the director of technology at Beacon Fire Red. Um, I've been there for 13 years now, been working in this space for about 20. We specialize in consulting with nonprofits and associations. Um, the text you see right there is our elevator pitch, but uh, I'm not sure I'm permitted to actually read it out loud, not being in an elevator. So feel free to read if, you, if, you're, if you're game. Um, but basically what it says is that we do work for organizations that do good. So a lot of the stuff that Ron was talking about, the HIPAA compliance and .gov stuff, is um, not stuff that we generally touch on. We do a lot of Drupal sites and a lot of non-gov and non-HIPAA stuff. But the thing that we do share in common there is the Truth Initiative. Um, they had significantly more requirements than some of our uh, clients for hosting, and that led didn't lead to our partnership, but we had already established a partnership with Contegix, and uh, they just turned out to be a really good fit. So they are uh, what we're here talking about. And I think Ron's going to tell a little bit more about the client. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so this little bit about Truth Initiative, you've probably seen their commercials on TV, um, heard their radio ads and whatnot. Um, they were established and funded uh, through a 1998 master settlement agreement. Um, they are 
essentially a national public health org um, inspiring tobacco free lives and building a culture where all youth and young adults reject tobacco. Oh, and they heavily use the Drupal CMS platform, among other applications, which we host for them. Um, Um, so some hosting challenges these guys had at Truth. Um, so they initially came to us, um, you know, saying they had Drupal, but they had other things too, and they kind of wanted to put everything under one roof. And after investigating other companies and, you know, finding out maybe they only support Drupal or they can only do this and that, like we took a look at it and we can, uh, we're probably about 70% Drupal when it comes down to it and 30% everything else. So for example, of what falls under everything else, um, we started working with them hosting um, Python framework, um, Django, as well as Nginx and MongoDB. They had an application running on that stack, so that's what we initially stood up. And then later on, we worked with them to <clears throat> migrate over um, the truth.com and truthinitiative.org, mainly their two, their two main Drupal sites. Um, so we essentially provided the onboarding and implementation support as well as the ongoing hosting support. Um, we manage uh, all the applications, um, not the code, because that's what Beacon Fire does, but we manage up to the code. So we're handling the server-side stuff, the stack, the performance, tuning, backup, security, networking, and then we work to support Beacon Fire and their developers within that environment so they can do what they need to do. And that's essentially the gist of what their challenges were, just trying to find one roof that could support everything and that, you know, was a company that was good at everything, not like kind of good at one thing and maybe not another. So um, then we, that's when we started the partnership. Um, here's a bit on their couple sites and just, you know, what their traffic looked like and uh, looks like a couple years ago anyways. It's grown since then. It's nothing huge, um, but they get a lot of spiky traffic. Um, and, you know, one of their requirements was um, just from when we were looking at the requirements was that they needed um, a provider with, you know, multiple backbone ISVs coming into the network. They wanted redundancy not only in the systems, um, but on the network and at the data center level. And, we kind of met all those uh, pieces for them. Um, I'm not going to, you know, read these numbers here. You can kind of look for yourselves just to get an idea. But the main site is truth.com and, um, you know, we're something a bit interesting that we're coming up uh, in a few slides is uh, just one of their traffic periods where they had a big advertising spend during a large TV show. And uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But that's one of their spikes in traffic, essentially. Yeah, so uh, our relationship with, uh, with Truth goes back to about 2006. We partnered with Contigix in 2014. Um, sort of part of us taking over their Drupal site involved finding you know, a good partner for them for the hosting part of it, um, the stuff that Ron was talking about. Um, and based on the requirements, we felt confident that was it Black Mesh at the, I guess Black Mesh at the yeah. time, Contigix, um, was going to be more than, more than able to satisfy the traffic needs that they had. Um, I mean, you could tell by how Ron was talking about it that in, you know, this, in, the, in the world of sites that they do hosting for, Truth is not a massive, they, they, they don't have the traffic that, you know, some sites do. For the type of clients we do, their spikes were, um, were kind of new to us. I mean, working with advocacy organizations, we do see a lot of our clients have traffic spikes around specific events. You know, Trump got elected and a lot of our clients got really busy. So uh, things like that happen. With Truth specifically, there were some events that we'll talk about um, in a couple slides. But, uh, you know, we started the migration in August, September of 2017 and uh, have been, you know, on the tech side of it, we've just been really happy with the partnership. There hasn't been anything that's come our way that we haven't had to deal with, that we haven't been able to deal with, that the Contigix hasn't been able to address. So it's been all good. For sure. Thanks, Tim. Yeah. All right. A little bit about the solution we stood up for Truth. Um, you know, obviously, these guys are running Drupal. They're running some Python stuff, uh, some NoSQL on the back end, and then obviously all the components that run uh, the Drupal stack. Um, so we got a platform as a service set up for them. It's uh, specifically tuned for Drupal. We got a few workflow tools in there. To, um, we got a tool called Cascade, helps you kind of 
push code in between your environments, dev stage live, gives you a, a web GUI, things of that nature. So we have that deployed here and that sits on top of uh, your traditional stack for uh, you know, running performant, Dru uh, performant Drupal sites, uh, tools and um, you know, applications like Apache, PHP, uh, Attuned Varnish config specific to what these guys are doing, uh, Memcache or Redis in this case, uh, Opcache, um, these guys also deploy a third-party CDN, I believe it's Cloudflare at this time, which is definitely always recommended. Um, on the back end, um, you know, we need some HA here because when these guys are doing, you know, in general they always want to stay up, but especially when they're doing advertising campaigns and they're getting a lot of traffic. So we did um, a synchronous Galera cluster on the back end um, for MySQL or MariaDB here with CentOS 7. So we also paired that with MaxScale, so essentially a three node cluster of read write database servers that if one fails it gets removed from the cluster and we can rebuild it. Um, but it's, it's awesome, it's fast, it works it's redundant, it's fault tolerant, and we support it all. Um, we have uh, your standard production development staging environments. I think they even have a QA environment. Um, I mean, long story short, we can support any kind of environments you guys want. Um, on our hosting platforms, um, we just need to understand what the requirements are of the organization. Um, we have some miscellaneous servers sitting out there too, and this is you know, some of the requirements that maybe don't fit at the other just Drupal only hosts, and these guys are running Roundcube, they're running Dovecot, I mean, they have various other things, and, and we support it all. Um, they have, you know, firewalls in front, obviously, um, Juniper firewalls we typically run for the clients, um, and then we deploy um, SSL VPN and multi-factor authentication um, for like content editors on the Drupal site. So we basically, the public sites don't have any admin access um, to just the general user that's non-authenticated. You actually have to log into an SSL VPN and then go through um, Duo security multi-factor auth to get to the back end of the site. And that's, um, that's going to be hosted on a separate web environment than the public web server. So we just did that for security and a lot of our PCI, HIPAA, and FedRAM clients do um, similar things too. Um, on the migration, um, I mean we have, so we, in addition to our 24-7 support team that works in three shifts to cover um, phone and email support 24-7, we have a dedicated uh, onboarding and migration team. So anybody that chooses to host with us, you have unlimited support from that team. It's going to, um, that migration is going to be led by an experienced um, technical project manager. And then our migration team essentially is going to work with you to pull your apps over, uh, your databases, um, get them staged in our environment, and then turn them over to you for testing. Um, so we essentially did that here, um, and we worked with Beacon Fire as well, you know, because they wrote the code and they're the experts in it. Um, so. Um, let's see, we, yeah, we, so we did some performance tuning as well. After we got the site staged, you know, we threw some load edits, see where it broke, and then kind of tuned all the configs to essentially just extract the most performance that we can out of the site. Um, and then your traditional just DNS cut over with no downtime, you know, sometime overnight when everybody's sleeping, or you think they are anyways. All right, so, man, we've been talking about this slide a lot. It's finally here. Some of the traffic spikes. I know you've all been waiting. Um, so Truth, uh, again, a little bit unique among our clients, um, does significantly more media buys than most, I think in the tens of millions of dollars of um, television advertising, online advertising. Um, they had a TV spot during the last Grammy Awards, which was, for me as a developer on the project, was you know, something to prepare for. We had our like drop dead date that no PM in the world was going to be able to shove back when we couldn't get the stuff done. So we made our deadline. They hit the Grammy spot. Everything was smooth. I can't, the Snapchat ad buy wasn't at the same time, was it? That? No, I think that yeah, was. Yeah, okay. Um, so, and additionally, they did a Snapchat ad buy. I mean, you know, worth mentioning that their target audience are teens, like really like. 18 to 24, um, 24 being a teen in this in this world. Um, so Snapchat was a, you know an obvious platform for them to target that group, and they did it well. Six times the amount of traffic um, around that specific campaign. Um, it was a higher than expected engagement. I mean, they were definitely expecting a spike, but um, we were not 
preparing ourselves necessarily for that. It turns out we were all good. We were on the we were on the phone throughout. I think it was just a live communication with the Contigix folks and taking care of that. Ron will tell you more about it, but uh, communication channels have been uh, essential and great. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Tim. Um, just a bit on like how we supported during the events and just our one of our core values is to go beyond with support and just delight the customer. And um, we basically, uh, during these events, I mean, we were on chat channels, we were on a phone conference, um, we had live monitors, we had engineers logged into the systems. And I mean, we, we monitor all our systems as it is, but you know, we were on the phone, Beacon Fire was on there, Truth was on there, we were looking at traffic, we were making sure things stayed performant, and they did, there was no issues. I mean, we obviously scaled out the platform in preparation for these events, but just it's just a testament to, you know, what we're willing to do for our clients. And, you know, we understand that, um, you know, this is important to them and we want to be there. And we were, and uh, that's how we supported. Well, so, um, a little bit at the work that we do for Truth. Um, in addition to managing their site, this is a Drupal 7.58, newest version of 7. So kind of unique, I guess, among the sessions as we're talking about Drupal 7 here, um, ancient history. Um, we do a lot of analytics work with them, with the Adobe Analytics and Adobe uh, Dynamic Tag Manager. Um, basically, what they want is they want to be able to score the users based on interactions they do on the site to help determine what actions they're going to be most primed to take in the future. Um, we use Adobe Target as well to power the recommended section to do a lot of A-B and multivariate testing. A um, couple of third-party systems, Net Results and Zoomf is a new one that they've been working with lately to do um, sort of progressive forms and you know member acquisition and stuff. And we'll create the forms in those systems and then use Adobe Target to deliver them to the uh, to the site. Um, a few more Drupal specific things we did is an enhanced web forms module. So when they collect data from users, registrations, signups, whatnot on the site, um, they want to be able to push those, those, that information out to these other third party systems. So we created a module that lets us take the field names from the web form, map them to what we call a sync field, and then we have just an admin GUI to then associate those sync fields with the various field names for the data that needs to be sent out via a couple of API calls to the, uh, to the other services, Zoom, Net Results, Salsa, a few others. Um, created a web hooks module that um, takes data from Facebook, this one specifically from Facebook, um, stores it locally as an array, and then again provides another UI to map those fields to the fields to the uh, outgoing systems, and then we have a job that pushes that data out there. So there's a lot of this uh, um, needing to make sure that the user data in one system is matched up with user data in other systems and correct and um, that they can put together that data when they need to at the end. Yeah, thanks, Tim. Appreciate that. Sounds like some exciting stuff that I have no clue about. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, me neither. <laughs> we have really nice. good analytics folks. I do not count myself among that. <laughs> nice. Well, that's why I work with these guys. We handle the hosting. They handle that stuff. Um, just we're going to finish it out. We'll open it up for any questions if, if you guys have any. Um, but we have a quote here from Derek Butts, um, who is the CIO at Truth. Um, and I'm not going to read it because it's on the screen and I don't want to be redundant. So um, there it is if you want to check it out. And then we're really open for... Uh, any and all questions that anybody might have for either myself or Tim. Also with noting that you're over at the Contigix booth. Yeah, the yeah, I'll right? be at the Contigix booth. Um, Tim's around. I can, I have his number. I can find him if you need to talk to him. Um, so just let us know. I think I'm going to nap before the lullabot party, though, so. <laughs> so outside of his nap, he's available. Yeah. I'm old. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's chat. Uh, <sighs> Hopefully there's some left. Thank you.